Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the correct. This is Ray Vangelian. Get that cat out of the way! And today, we are taking a look at the Figma Chainsaw Man. <laughs> and, bro, before we get started, check out my freaking lighting. I finally got this sick ass lighting set up. Looks pretty damn sick, in my opinion. Thank you, Mr. Glenn Ham. <laughs> anyway. The time has finally arrived, and Figma has thrown their hat into the Chainsaw Man figure ring. Figma versus SH Figuarts. Who you got? But before we can compare the two, we gotta take a deep dive into this one. And first thoughts, just looking at the box. There's some things I like. There's some things I don't like. We're gonna let these two figures duke it out. And in the end, you can figure out how to spend your money. So let's take a closer look at the box. All right, as I said before, the Figma Chainsaw Man, number 586. Genji. All right, all right, pretty cool product shots on it. Uh, no splatter. Only Chainsaw Man product I've seen so far that doesn't have splatter. Do have the orange and green motif. Call, call back to you. <laughs> call back to volume one. And let's check it out. We got the head, we got the Genji head, Genji faces, open mouth, good. Blow it like a tongue. <laughs> Got the Venom going on. Arms, interchangeable arms. Pretty neat. About to get a kiss axe. And Pochita. Oh, some pretty good stuff in here. But at the same time, I'm not a big fan of that product. No, no, that's not fair. I do like these product shots. I think he looks like he's got eyeliner on here. Like, I like that. Love that pose. It's pretty sick. No blood. It's pretty sick. Do have to give it credit that they made the Denji and Chainsaw Man one figure. And unlike SH Figure Arts, we're going to have to buy two. There's a Denji and a Chainsaw Man figure. Granted, if you wanted to display this one with both Denji, you're going to have to buy two. And this one's more expensive. <laughs> Enough chit chat. <laughs> Let's get him open. I don't like it. I want you to put the chicken strips! I mean, it's got its moments. It's okay. All right, what the hell? What the hell do you mean you don't like it? I think it looks pretty cool here. I think it's super anime accurate, which is cool. <sighs> I don't know, man. Hindered articulation, a diaper, the rubber diaper, hmm, no blood. Why don't I like it? Why don't I like it? Damn it, why'd it have to be so expensive? I think that head sculpt looks great. We're gonna get into it. Damn, I hadn't been this conflicted since I got two left hands. That didn't happen this time, by the way. Shit. Let's take a closer look at it. And by that I meant, let's take a look at his accessories first. Stupid idiot. <laughs> and here we have Figma Chainsaw Man's accessories. For what it's worth, you get a, you get a shit ton of them. All right, let's get started. As usual, we got the Figma stand. If you've, if you've, if you have owned a Figma figure before, you know what you got? Simple stuff, pretty good. Um, also included is like this piece here. Just slide that on. And you've got the end of the stand at like a, like a 45 degree angle. As you saw, Denji has this hole in his back. You get a little bit more secure. You get an extra pivot that way at the 45 degree angle. Extra ball peg. Like I said before, if you have owned a Figma figure, then this will also be familiar to you. It's like a little stand, I like this. We got two weapon holding hands, two relaxed hands, two peace sign hands, and two fisted hands. Put it up. Good ass face, good ass chainsaw, Ooh, sharp ass chainsaw. Specifically that one right there. Cute tail, cute butt. I've been drinking. All right, as far as the Genji accessories go, we got this big long ass giraffe ass, Jeffrey the giraffe ass neck. Absolutely no 
look up. That would explain why. Just like I said, you figure words, pull the back. Pull the bangs off, pull his face off. Girl power! Oh no! Put the face that you want. As far as the other faces go. We got the just seeing some boob face and the go ahead and try dumbass face sculpt. Your dimmy on your back! Fleshy dingy arms and the pull cord, start card, start cord, whatever you want to call it, hand accessory. Pretty neat. And you're calling him a dumbass. <laughs> and dingies. I'm gonna get a kiss from Himeno. Hey. Himeno. Hey. Get a kiss from Himeno. As far as Chainsaw Man's accessories go, here is his head. No eye details. No eye details whatsoever. I like how big it is. I like how sharp it is. Uh, the handle is articulated. I mean, it's, I don't know if you'd call it articulated. Whatever. Got his devil flesh here. And I will give this some bitch credit here. If y'all saw the SH Figure Arts review, his jaw kept popping out. And I'm not having that problem with this figure. So kudos there. Anyway, got the anime accurate looking teeth. Pretty cool. I like that. Swap it out with the open mouth with that venom ass tongue. Love that. Definitely more detail and venom like than the SH figure art. Again, not really. Oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. Ooh, you still gonna have trouble. Ooh, there's still trouble with that shit, but it's not falling out like the SH figure arts. It's definitely in there tighter. And lastly, you got Chainsaw Man arms. Um, you're, oh, God, these are sharp. Your only option is this open grabby, boob grabby hands for Chainsaw Man. No wrist articulation. You don't have that with it either. Anyway. Drinking. <laughs> your swivels up here. Damn, these are sharp. Shit. <laughs> I do like that. No blood though. There's no blood on these and I don't like that. Also as per usual included is the Figma sandwich bag. Shit, Jobby does that a lot better than I do. Holy shit, these pieces are everywhere. All right, now that we got that out of the way and out of the floor. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's take a look at Figma Chainsaw Man himself. That's fucking bad. I still don't like it. <coughs> That's fucking bad. All right, all right, all right. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean you don't like it? I don't know, man. There's just there's just too many damn picnics. We could have a picnic. Too many picnics. Too many. And for this price point, pick Nick. Let's take a closer look. All right, all right, so basically the colors, which I mean, damn it, are we doing the comparison here? No, let's just bring up the things I don't like. Let's let's just get into it. Gappy. Gappy ass shoulders. I mean, don't get mad at me, internet. Gappy ass back. God forbid you're doing a pose with some ab crunch. For the love of God, don't, don't, don't use that ab crunch. And take a shot of it from the back. God, that shoulder gap. Damn, man, that's a lot. Moving on. You got like the rubber diaper going on down here with the slits cut in it. So, I mean, I don't even like that. I, I don't really care for that. It shifts up and down. Uh, the bottom of his shirt, you'll see these cuts here. You got a cut see there and a cut see there, I guess. I don't know. It's got that Figma paint job. You know, very anime. Cell shaded kind of in a way. Jesus Christ, the price for this? I'm sorry, man. I've got plenty of Figma figures, and I love my Figma figures. I don't like this. I don't like how much I paid for it. I'm just really let down. Let's get into what we came for. Finish it! Finish it! Well, if there was any doubt in my mind left, on which one I like better. I made my damn mind up posing these two. Got the Figma one doing the fucking John Lennon weird walk. Kind of funny. Anyway, the SH Figure Arts version is 
vastly superior. I'm sorry if that pisses anybody off, but that's just the way it is. The Figma doesn't go into as much detail as the SH Figure Arts. I'm not saying that the SH Figure Arts is perfect because I mean, I had some picnics with it as well. Like, damn it, look at the neck on the Figma one. Like, is it? Like, that's such a weird pose. Like, way to go me putting him in the John Lennon walk pose. Like, look at that neck. I don't know, they're just so different in body build and proportions and everything. It's insane. These are two radically different figures. And I will give it credit there. That's, that's cool. I like that they're different. But I don't like that this one costs this much and this one costs this much and is vastly superior. No shoulder gapping. None whatsoever on the SH figure work. Shoulder gapage. Look how, like, how, how skinny, how skinny Figma is. Maybe that's why I think it looks so weird. I'm sorry, bro. It's, it's no freaking contest. It's no contest. Let's do some height comparisons, and then we'll do some other comparisons. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold sets up. Damn it, bro. Every every time I look at them and pose them and move them around, it just becomes more and more clear that the SH Figure Arts is clearly the superior product. God, look at the just the proportions. I would even say the attitude, man. Like the cool, thick ass tongue is nice over here. What about that gaping jaw right there? Just, just fucking. <laughs> I love it. And you got fucking pencil chainsaw man over here. I'm not into it, man. SH figure arts. All day. All damn day. Here we have the Figma Chainsaw Man up next to the SH figure arts katana man. I just don't know, bro. I just don't know. And here we have the SH figure arts power up next to the Figma Chainsaw Man. Yes, I still have her pose like that because I love that damn pose. Hitting dingers. Um, yes, I'm aware that Figma is making a power figure. We all know how I love power. And we all know that I'm getting the Figma version too. Let's do a couple Figma comparisons. Figma Yoko. Figma Ryuko. And Figma Satsuki. Hey, there's that John Lennon pose. All right, so overall, I don't like it. I spent a lot of money on it. Gonna put it on the Chainsaw Man shelf, which, ooh, yeah, we're gonna get to that. But, no, I don't like it. Do I recommend that you buy it? Should I recommend that you go and buy the Chainsaw Man Figma figure? No. No, I don't think I will. Let's go to the Chainsaw Man shelf and get the hell out of here.